this is Lauren Gifford reporting live from the ESPN studio at the Australian Open. And I'm Christopher Baston. Today we will be analyzing the one and only Hanya Zahir and her tennis performance today. Let's take a look. Alright, let's start with the zoom in on the wrist of our amazing Hanya. Look at that wrist. The ball's coming and coming and boom, there it goes. Look at that beautiful arc. Now let's think for a moment, why would it go in the arc? I know what most of you are probably thinking. Well, what are you thinking, Christopher? Uh, physics? Yes, there is physics, but what does that really mean? Well, Hanya here has hit the ball at a certain angle upwards to make it into this arc. If Hanya wanted to create the most airtime, she would want a 60 degree angle, even if it goes the same distance as a 30 degree angle. If she wanted to maximize her distance and airtime, she would have to hit the ball at a perfect 45 degree angle. All right, now that we understand why she might hit the ball at different angles, let's try to figure out how the ball is hit harder and goes faster when she hits harder. Why do you think this is, Christopher? Uh, physics? Again, yes, but what does this mean? Wait, are you in different clothes, Lauren? Yes. Well, let's go to Caitlin, another tennis physicist, to learn why. Well, guys, you gotta put some work into it. Where do you get this? Well, you gotta use your muscles. Like, that's why you gotta lift. Anyway, so the work you put into the racket starts as elastic potential energy in your wrist, transferring to the racket. As the ball hits the racket, the wires bend, which has which also has elastic potential energy. The moment the ball leaves the racket, the ball has max kinetic energy. As the ball goes up, there is some kinetic and some gravitational potential energy. When the ball reaches the peak, it stays suspended there, defying gravity with max gravitational potential energy. Really? No, that was a test. Anyway, it's impossible for there to be more gravitational potential energy due to the conservation of energy. As the ball then descends in the parabola formation, it once again has gravitational potential energy and some kinetic energy. Right before the ball hits the other player's racket, it has max kinetic energy like before. As the ball hits the strings of the other person's racket, the strings bend back to have max el elastic potential energy. Throughout all of this, however, the total energy is the same as was first put into it. Let's take this view into slow motion so we can witness the physics at work. She goes for a lob shot at this moment, and these shots are perfect for traveling over the opponent's reach. So what you are saying is that the lob shot creates a higher and longer projectile motion. Precisely. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to our exclusive extra here at the Australian Open. Have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Go physics! Yay! <laughs> Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart.